Hey, what's up folks? In this project, we're building an arcade game with NeoPixels and CircuitPython. This is inspired by those Cyclone arcade games where an LED runs along a strip. The goal is to press the button when the LED lands on the target pixels. The game advances and speeds up as you score and hit the targets. The target pixels are placed randomly, so it's different for each level. The running pixel changes color as you level up and it goes in the order of Roy G. Biv. If you miss a target, the LED flashes red and the game starts over with a slow speed. We designed the enclosure to house the electronics and 3D printed the parts to snap fit together. Inside is an Adafruit feather, an arcade button, a rechargeable battery, and a slide switch. The code is written in CircuitPython by Liz Clark. It uses the Adafruit LED animation library to easily bring in the colors of the NeoPixels without having to figure out the RGB values. Variables allow you to track the location of the chaser and target pixels and detects collisions when you press the arcade button. You can adjust the default speed and increase values to change up the game's difficulty. The code is open source and available to download on GitHub. You can get the parts to build this project, links are in the description. The parts are 3D printed with PLA without any support material. We'll start by soldering up some wires to a strip of mini skinny NeoPixels. A slide switch is wired up and it has pieces of heat shrink tubing to insulate the connections. These cables feature quick connects which will make it easier to plug in the arcade button. Be sure to follow along with the circuit diagram linked in the learn guide. Make sure to test the circuit before assembling the rest of the enclosure. The feather is secured to built-in standoffs with hardware screws. The NeoPixel strip is wrapped along the inner diameter of the case with the LEDs facing inwards. Capped on tape is used to insulate the pads on the end of the strip to prevent them from shorting out. The slide switch is press fitted into the built in holder on the side of the case. Short M25 screws are used to secure the feather. An inner ring is pressed over the NeoPixel strip and works as an LED diffuser. The battery is connected to a JST extension cable that's wired in line with the slide switch. The arcade button is panel mounted with the leads bent to a right angle so it has a low profile. The quick connects can then be plugged into the arcade button. To install the cover, the notches are oriented with the slide switch and press fitted to snap fit shut. And there you have it! We had a lot of fun working on this project and hope this inspires you to check out CircuitPython. These type of projects are definitely our favorite because you can enjoy them at home with friends and family.